A lot of times I do uh, landscapes, uh, some realistic things where it'd be an apple and an orange. One thing that I really got into was the uh, aviation artwork. I absolutely love aviation. I love flying, and, and uh, it's a great, great outlet, a great thing to go ahead and, and take those images that you see, the photography and all that, and actually be able to come up in my mind with the way I'd like a, a, a painting to be. When I come and hit the canvas, I'm just kind of spilling out everything, you know, I'm thinking about. There's so much emotions that goes into it. But if I was to do it just as a job, I don't think it would come out as well, or it wouldn't mean as much. Just the art to me is a little bit more personal than that, I think. A lot of people think artwork is definitely the nice, safe thing, but nah, it wasn't that nice, that's for sure. There was a street sign that said dip on it, and we were putting something else after the dip. And uh, I, I ended up, at the, in the process of doing that, I ended up catching a car intent in the eye. And it, uh, it definitely got a pretty good injury out of it. And it's something I've always had to deal with, even though a lot of people think it's so, you know, oh, it's, you know, so maybe tragic or whatever, that, that you have an injury like that that, you know, kind of limits your vision in one of your eyes. And how does that affect you? If anything, it makes me that much better at anything I do because you, you strive that much harder, you see the beauty in things so much better, and, uh, and you don't take things for granted. Another one of my total hobbies, which is the uh, restoration of uh, military aviation with the Pacific Coast Air Museum. And a lot of things that I'll do is I'll do a painting of an aircraft for somebody for a fee, and then in turn I take the money that's been generated by that to end up purchasing parts for the aircraft. So it all goes kind of into the same thing. We talk about what kind of background they want, what kind of maybe missions that they've been on, and I do a historically accurate rendition of their aircraft with their name on it, everything. It is the best job in the world. We're running into situations that people are scrambling out of. And we go in as a team, handle the situation, take care of it, and make it better for that person. It's not the funnest thing in the world at times, and it's, it's really tough. It takes a toll on you. You know, if I'm stressed, if I've had a hard time at work, come down, I just get on the canvas, put the music on, and it's just everything goes away. There's a lot of uh, stress and everything that came with the whole 9-11 thing, see, seeing 343 of our our family basically uh, taken out in one shot. That's a tough thing to deal with. But finding something good in it and being able to put your whole heart and soul into something like this, it's, uh, it's a good, good outlet for it. And then at the same time, being able to share it with other people. When you look at the painting, you can tell and you can see the type of uh, emotion that comes with it. And that's a, that's a neat thing. This painting right here that we ended up finishing up, that was the one I did. Actually, I started it on uh, the night of 9-11 and finished it uh, a day later and brought it into work. It uh, got out into the public through the internet and everybody wanted to basically see if they could purchase a print of it. And we ended up uh, creating uh, another print and, and generated $80,000 for the Widows and Children's Fund so far just in the selling of the prints alone. To be able to make something happen good in the midst of something that was so bad was, uh, was a really rewarding thing. One thing that was really great about doing the Italian street art was as people were walking by, they were actually dropping roses onto the art itself, which was really cool. It was kind of like a, a tribute that they were doing to the artwork and what it represented. Taking a square of concrete and actually turning it into something where people could actually go to and kind of have some thoughts and, and drop a rose down on it as part of their kind of a grieving process for them or kind of a, maybe even a healing process. It was really neat when I walked by and saw that. It's a great feeling.